We're at it again on House of uh, Sankofa. I would like to thank you uh, so much uh, for your support uh, within uh, the few episodes uh, that uh, we've put together. My name is Paul Nisi. I'm Nisweb Vula. I'm going to talk to you about the first time I'm going to talk to you about the first time I'm going to talk to you about the first time I'm Issues of spirituality, cultural issues. We like to delve in music, um, and we also like to delve in poetry as well. And I think uh, this is the first episode where we featuring or welcoming to House of Sankofa a poet, prolific poet who I've personally known for a couple of years. He goes by the name of uh, Makafula Vilagazi, Ipumale uh, Shaolin. And uh, of course, uh, he spits like uh, none other. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome uh, Makafula Bilagas. Welcome to House of Sankofa. No, Nyabong. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, Paul, and thanks for having me. Banja, I'm going to be in the Shaolin temple. Yes, I'm going to be in the Shaolin I love it. Um, where to start? I guess I've known you for over a decade, maybe approaching two decades. Mm. Uh, since Ngwazi, you know, the first time uh, you came over to bless us in as far as your poetry is concerned, uh, back uh, at the YFM days. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I can call you by that. The, the, the name is Ngwazi Ngalo. You know, like, you know, hey, not so <laughs> 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 Yes. Ah, it's not so Yeah, mm. man. Hey, yeah, no. I think it was 2004. Right, More or less, maybe 2003 even. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe yeah, 2003 yeah. even. Yeah, you know? I know. It was a long time. But I guess you've been in this poetry space, and pen and pad have been the love of your life, mm. you know, for for years. Well, about to say, Lange, with Lento, I puma api tabuga gupi. In as far as like ama influences are concerned. Yeah. Hey, look, it's been a multi multiple influence. Kali, the interest rate was high school. Yeah. So back then, Besenza, I was part of a crew, hip hop crew. I forgot what it was called. Right. And then in Metric, I was going to go to I chose. Um, and my English teacher was a Zimbabwean guy, a um, And you know, scale, we're not really interested in school. Yeah. So you go because it's Melu and she's like looking. But then it sparked an interest because of the way he was presenting like literature, you know? Mm. The literature part of the English syllabus. And you fell in love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Pease yeah. Ngabobana about Shakespeare at that time. Pease Ngabobana about Shakespeare, <laughs> Julius Caesar. Yeah. We even did a side act, what do you call it? We even did a dramatization a as part of, a, as part of our metric preparation. We did a play of Julius Caesar. Mm. Um, then there was this book, Inscapes, I think, that the book was called. It was mm. an anthology of poetry that was the syllabus one at the time. So reading those poems, and the way he used to read them to us, and the way he used to break them down to us, something that connected with me. Yeah. I then started kind of writing, moving away from the hip hop side, and started writing poems. But mm -hmm. for leisure, like Paledi Cherry, he loved that. Yeah, some things like that. Yeah. Um, and then I went to college in town. There was a school, what's the city campus? Mm. There were guys who were also interested in poetry. So we started going through Lama poetry sessions. Back then, I mean, poetry was quite big. A jungle in connection based as a corner later on uh, Fontaine? Or it, yeah, I know it was there, but yeah. I never really got to go to a jungle connection. Because that was a hub of poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah at some point. Abu Mac were there. Yes. Abu Flo. Abu Flo. Yeah, yeah, Abu Afura. Yes. All these guys. Abu Abu yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, I mean, I never. Then I asked cool. What we used to go to the corner man, Abu I don't know if you remember Uzash Fikush. Uzash Fikush. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So those are the guys. They had this thing, but the sounds of entertainment. Mm. So they used to have poetry sessions every Sundays. Uh, La Pepe Cast Library in Newtown. Mm. So I would go there every Sunday, listen, listen, listen. It was fun. I mean, they used to give us food, which is mainly why some of us were there. I see. So. And then, yeah, and they would encourage you. Type, you've got a poem, here's an open mic, come, do something. Mm, and let's hear what you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we started doing poetry there. That's, that's literally how it started. And then there's this thing, which you get at the end of the session, good announcements, right? So someone would come and say, I've got a show on Wednesday at this venue. Please come through and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's pushing my pamphlet at the time. So then you'd go to the next one. Um, there was one that I went through that. Actually, that is when I started writing in earnest. 
Uh, it in Bila. I don't know if you remember it in Bila. I, do. I do remember it in Bila. Yeah, they yeah. were quite impl impactful at that time. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah yes, I mean, yes. those are the guys. So, yeah, we go, went there, listened to them, listened to Ipo, also Chester's. Yeah, then that one could see. And then, I think Potoso Chester has the biggest influence on me. Mm. Particularly U Pra Ike. There's a poet, Lapana. It was a trio. Yes. The group Pra Ike, and then there were two others, Olukunjin. And they had self published books that yes. they would sell as yes. well. So, yes. I mean, you could, you could read into their poetry yes. yeah, at and your they, leisure as yeah, well. 100%. Yeah. And they also had encouraged you to submit. Which if you've got something, come here. We'll publish it yes. uh, we'll in, our, in our booklets. Yeah, yeah, we'll help you to. There's an editing process you can go through. There's a vet writing center, Dr. Pam Nichols, we used to go there. I think she had a relationship with, with, with them. Mm. So it goes there, help, she would help us with the editing. And then, yeah, then we started performing. But Rap Ike, for me, I think that's the poet that really, really influenced me a lot. Ike Man? Ike Muil. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, part of Potos uh, Before then, I went to the poetry from the Shakespearean part. <laughs> yes. You know, like reading about. I mean, that's nice poems about Douglas Livingston, all these poets, mm. uh, Ted Hughes, uh, locally, Yabo Walisi Rote, Yabo Sipose Palma, uh, yes. yeah, Oswald Timchadi, those kinds of poets. I mean, mm. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Khafela, now, but they've yes. got some stuff I mean, in, yeah, in books, Khafela, I mean, Omar Hohodi. Back then, Khafela, I mean, he was, I, Khafela back then, he used to be the editor of YMAG. Yes. And he used to write an editorial every Lokunja for every publication. I used to look forward just to reading because it was poetry, mm. just a full page of poetry that you mm. get every Lokunja. Um, so Praik went on stage, did a poem at Kova. Kova? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ukova, most Ukova, it's the man. Yes. Kovi 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Kova, Kova, Blom, I'm too Kate, Paula. You know, I was like, is this even book? You know? So for you, it was a whole new world. Yeah. That's part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So after that, we have planned, I've got money. No, I've got a book here. Yeah. Bought a book. Went and read these poems. So it's mm. So, I mean, I didn't have much exposure. I had the exposure I had to poetry, but I didn't even know that you could do poetry. So it started changing your perspective yeah, yeah, in yeah. how now, uh, you know, you apply yourself within this poetry. Because you realized, Wuti, inetmos is wide. Yeah. Mm. You can go mm. anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, yeah, Oprah Ek was a big, 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 big influence in me. Because then I was like, Lomuntu Pali poem about things that, in, not only in my language, but... It things that I relate to every day. I mean, this is Ringa but sure. you know, So, mm. can I make poetry? Can I do poetry from this? Mm. Then I started to dig. Not dig, perhaps, perhaps the thing is just like go more into my own experience. Mm. And I think that made me a better writer than I, the way, than I was writing before. Because, and going deeper into your own experience, yes. it's just uh, you were looking at, I guess, what's happening around you. 100%. Elokshin Lako. Mm. The, the squatter camps, Abu Mama Bating Sayo yes. at the train station. Yes. That's yes. where you began to unuge am a subject matter. 100%. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So he gave me a vehicle to be able to do that because now he, this is how he does it. Um, but I don't have to do what he's doing. But he's showing me that there is a way to talk about the experiences of what you actually go through and the people you know. Mm. And this is one of the ways that you can do it. Mm. Um, because English poetry, is, as, I mean, as much as you can be good at it, for me, it was not my first language. My English was not that strong. Yes. Um, and also, man, if I don't know if you have that experience, but if, if you are thinking in English, it's a bit different than if you dream in English do you dream in English or do you dream in English? I don't know. I don't know. I think, yeah. I've but mean, I worry. You know, as an individual, if I've had a dream and, you know, I realize I dreamt in English, and I begin, begin to worry to say, nah, man, I shouldn't be dreaming in English. <laughs> yes, we communicate in this language um, every day of our mm. lives because of, uh, you know, uh, the establishment uh, that we find ourselves in. But men are kakulu in English, hey, man. I it's become not worried. Embedded in your subconsciousness. Exactly, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, and yeah. for me, it almost like it it hurts my spirit or my soul. That's true. to a degree. Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. That's true. Mm. So yeah. So that was it. So I started writing in Lokunja, in 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 in, in, in so tital kind of like Lokunja. It was very elementary back then. Um, and then I'm just going to where I I I I, I, I finally met you. Uh, 
Yes. There was a Uchulas Makuero. Makuero. Makuero, Makuero. <laughs> oh, he, used yeah. to, he used to have a thing about a cafe. So he'd invite poets on a Saturday, you'd go there. That's not a competition per se, but you'd go and rehearse. And yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And if people gravitated towards your poem, that particular poem, then the incentive was you'd go on YFM the following Wednesday. Yeah, he was, he was bringing in the poets, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. On, on, on my show. Yeah. We called it word of mouth. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I, I never went on that stage because Ben Saba. Mm. Ben Saba, but I, if I, I really, really wanted to go because I mean, I used to listen to the Wednesdays. I think it was one o'clock. Wednesdays, yeah. one o'clock. Yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah. Wednesdays, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we, that's you used to the, listen to the show. Yeah, yeah we used to look forward to listening to the, to, to, to the show. Um, Abo, there was this, um, the singer, I mean, the tram. So we used Chama. to sing with quite experience. Bafan. Bafan oh, Bafan and Tlapo. Yes. Yeah, yes. I mean, those are the people that I, we used with to With a hear. sharp voice. Ooh. Ooh, ah, we. Yeah. Yeah. And Nini Nino Kipa Amakolko enamel cups and things. And you would make it part of his percussion yeah. Uh, ensemble. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, you brought that to radio. Uh, that is something that we used to see in a new town, like these sessions and, 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 and things like that. But to, to be listen to it on radio or something else, and you mm. were like, I really want to be part of this. Wonderful. Mm. So I went there, why Rose Bank? I do to last thing I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but I think I've got something. But yeah. like, no, 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 you can't just come on radio. There's a, you know, there's a yeah. whole list of people here. It, it, yeah. It, but no, I, I think you can go in. You're coming. And that's why I met you. Oh, man. <laughs> and I tell you, he came in and uh, he blew our minds, um, Omar Kafula, because um, we'd had a lot of expressions. I mean, Ukulma Abosipose Pamla, uh, the gentleman from, uh, you know, the Pototo Collective that inspired him. But as soon as he came in, um, he just made poetry sort of his own, in his own way. And I guess he picked up from all of those elements and you were able mm. to quite skillfully, uh, when there, you know, your own thing that just resonates, that you, you think of a reference point and you can't find it. Mm. Because it must have taken a lot to sort of personalize yeah, it yeah, yeah. and individualize it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It was a lot... Um, it was a lot... Also, man, like, I, yeah, I, the thing is, like, I was very interested in poetry. So there's a guy, uh, Evet, the Evet Writing Center, Sam Mukabe, mm. was also a writer, a uh, Zimbabwean guy, he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, so he was the one who was helping us editing our poems. Ah. And he used to be very strict. I mm. give you a book. He gave me, he, he not, he, not, it was not even a book, man. It was like a three-page thing, got Tambuzo Marachel. Yes. So Tambuzo Marachera is interviewing himself there. It's like the self-interview of Tambuzo Marachera. So he's, where's Buza? Yeah, where's Pendo? And it's like <laughs> so crazy because the way he's asking himself this, like, yeah, that's probably one of the mm. best pieces of writing I've ever read. So I came back the following week with, the, with my own poem. He's like, this is not you, this is Tambuzo. So, mm. so now you have to go back. You'd say, go read X. You'd come back, you'd say this, I can see glimpses of X here, this and that and that and Make that. it your own. You have to find your voice. Yeah. So it was quite a process. Um, but yeah, I think over time, yeah, it did sort of, did kind of find your own expression. Uh, Makaful, the first piece <laughs> that um, personally that I heard from you when you came to the YFM studios at that time was, I'm not going back to the township. Yeah. And you uttered, uh, you know, that, uh, that piece, and I think it resonated uh, to the audience, to my listeners. Mm. I personally fell in love with it, you know, as well. <laughs> Just briefly, Nje, tell us what it was all about, or is all about, because uh, poetry doesn't die, it lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. No, for yeah, sure. Feel no, for sure. Um, amen. It was... Um, for one, it was also my, it was based on my own personal experience. Uh, because Ben Kale Foslo at the time. Yeah. Oh, but so East at some point. Yeah, yeah, Ben Kale Foslo. That's how clever, Angie. Uh, 
Na mi mpuma ko ne east ya spilet 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 yeah yeah mate pozi abanye yeah pozi ya mta le pozi mm parenke de zechoz okay so my experience elokshin my experience at school was just so vastly different things you know yes. like most of the you meet very positive people you meet people who inspire you you meet people who want to achieve things you know people who also like you can relate you can talk about politics you can talk about books you can talk about this and then you look shin mm. it's a completely completely different different, different scenario, different, different yeah. scenario. Uh, there you're talking about Money Luban, Chonche, Chonchi Motenjani, Eoban Bani Clever, Yo Ilea, and I won't own you, Kala, or no Sabuja chose in the general and stuff like that. So it was like I was living in two different worlds. Obano Petimali, you know, this past weekend, Batanga Mapole Langa, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And when you are young, I mean, you are very impressionable. So I was kind of like caught up in between these two worlds because at the same time, I'm from Gutekasi, Bang Fate, about Mutana. I mean, the back then, we went to go to Yahush. Yeah. Like, you remember, we would say, hey, I'm going to go to Yahush. I'm around in Nya, and I'm around in Nya. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to talk as such. But you're going to go around in Yeah. But you're going to go to Yahush. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, I guess, my, those two worlds I was in, that's just a big contradiction. And, like, I think I was starting to make a, a, to reach a realization with I as in, there's nothing wrong with abandoning this township existence and actually trying to find what mm. you're actually passionate about, because what you like and what inspires you and where you are at peace is this place. Yeah. Away from the influence of mm. So that's what I write. So that's why I wrote that poem. Um, and being honest, because as artists, as a man, you know, we've got this thing with him, Nang Yeah. And we take pride in this thing. Nang Besoetu, Nang Besoetu, Nang Besoetu, Nang Besoetu, Nang Besoetu, but then you start to interrogate with what does it actually mean? Yeah. So what is so it? You know. Mm. Um, what is the township? Why was the township created? Um, Why did those generations end up there in yeah, the first place? Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. Then it opens up a mm. whole um, mm. sort of scenario that you never thought of. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What could I have become had I not had Abu Kulbami not been brought into this area? Yeah. Uh, because it was they were not brought there to thrive. Um, they were brought there to struggle so that there could be access, there could just be excess labor, I guess, to, 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 to the apartheid capitalist system. Mm. Um, and obviously the fact that because they're human beings, they had to find love, they had to find, they had to find faith, they had to find belief in the environment. They had to live. Were, yeah, they had to live in the environment that they were. So they made the best of it. But it's not ideal. It was never where they wanted to be. Not for any human being, mm -mm. logish. Mm -mm. And we tend it's to not. glorify Lama Logish. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And we forget to go to Sabegelo Anilapa in the first place. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. And like, Ingos that is raised in a Logishin, Ingos that is raised in, I wouldn't even say a suburb, I would say a healthier place. Mm. Where, Could be a rural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. A place where they can reach their actual total human potential. Chances for Ingos from Logishin to thrive. Are less slimmer than the Mudlon. And mm -hmm. why? It's the environment. Yeah. It's the environment, it's the architect in the corners, Mane, the houses are close to each other, the place is like dry, there are no trees, it's just designed to break you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was done by the apartheid government by design. Uh, and it produces a certain kind of person. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there are exceptions, and there will always be exceptions, but generally, if you look at what it does, the kind of black people generationally that it's producing. Mm. Um, so that was yeah. That's where that poem came from. Talking um, about the poem, mm. can we hear it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going back to the township, Makafula Villagazi, ladies and gentlemen, on House of Sankof. Cult and injustice, crawling on tables, pins and needles inside an innocent, jungleless ground. Jealous, hatred and envy towards me for being an obliteration of wealth. Mama Albertina pouring bewitching Mzimba washing water across the pavements for my trembling balance-seeking feet to stamp on that cruel supremacy of death. Prales, grannies, barefooted, pale shouting through a random shop. 
Nsala tag shop, fill the two months sharp, thick bubbling oil. Number cut, very no matches. It was a flipping pair of candles in case Escom decided to shut down somebody's power line. Umnwabo, in the face of sympathy, the whole township gathers for one cow. I guess a funeral is better than a church pretense. Usis Peti grew thinner and coughed their blood out. Bold headed now. Bam la. A pem, cigar, silver, necklace, handsome, pilsner, smell of ice, my bebeza, who smokes pizza, stay vicente, the pill, and made the loyal lover, Mara Vazam, Tembu, cry over an alleged affair, no newspaper delivery event boy, while their grandbabies waited patient in their silent shack with their mouths wide open, waiting for the raindrops seeping through the holes in their roof to quench their thirst, and praying to the slaved and gone ancestors to give them strength. Hamtram, vapid, ignorant, drugged, Pissed, armed and insane. Do you expect me to go back to this shit? I am not going back to the township because in Kenya I don't see. Half past two, after school is after school for Mr. Pojin, that are steaming chairs, and Ras Lamar, Ras Lamar, and Shia Market, and also scared. Land and Baba Kona, I want to know about my last name is Pugu Pugundin. Maybe my Pojin that is right. For they've just been chased out of class for making errors of assisting Vabs Bongele Matonsela, who support the extended around the East and West family from what? From the 200 rand she gets every fortnight from Menershi Mambane for roughly penetrating her twice inside class and out outside his red RXM GP number plate at Wanda Pelage. I'm not going back to the township, Mobagia Band. I'm not going back to those fat privatizing pigs, Nemikaba in Kululego, who spread the political gospel every fortnight on my elections. Eh, Mama Nobaba, Nai 400. Melan Fagus Pamponet is welcome, Madame, Nangam Votelum Laud, and one woman of Kavalianja. He bribes the township, Mama Mili Mil, to crown him councillor position for his Ellerin's free installment that he tied himself to when he decided to open a ship in and sell beer for his daughter, Nom Chandas, to pay Mama Sarang as well for a successful abortion operation she privately performed with a piece of scissors and shop like plastic bags as was when number 1007 I am not going back to those cups and blankets of blood. Papa Shinga was arrested for Rumplashum Duvo and wearing the dreaded all star tried to resist arrest that explains why his face is bashed. They had to beat him senseless first and parade his naked body for all to see what evil we have get to. Nale Boto, who languished the sun endlessly, Nay calls them Bamba with the bitter hilarious themes about their long for 13 days in the struggle. Hey, we're not making sure 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 we are not Lindy now lives in SAPC one, all you need is love. Then you're just going to the quarter, the border, the so called beautiful and days of foreign lives. A filthy rich foreign dream absorbed and imitated in the rusted and dusted zinc shacks of Kalamambazi Township. Talk of men of my caliber as cowards, but only the witches in the churches and hearts can tell the hidden agendas bothering my mind. No love, no fear, witchcraft. Do you expect me to go back to the township? In this place, panic reigns and God has become a spook in the sky to the hopeless elders who have learned to look away. I am not going back to the township finishing car. I am leaving, splitting much. I am touching him, nodding a logish. I am not going back to your stolen radios, your stolen dirty underwear. Uma kala na kana e fana na lena. Yo le peti la mila shisa. Um tana mwata le makishi no sanu gumlu. I have had enough of your stolen linen. I am not going back to the township for my band. I am not going back because each time here, I have to hide my cell phone in my chest skills, otherwise I may die. This living grave conceals despicable secrets of vicho vichos para para putiless fathers and mothers. This living grave conceals despicable seven epics of Operation Cleanup, Operation Tekka, Inquasus, Dagos, Gebem, which I am not everybody is a criminal in this criminal existence. <laughs> even me, even me, I'm also a criminal. I'm not going back to those cups and blankets of blood. Thought, thought provoking gets, gets you thinking. Mm. And you paint, you know, the picture in such a realistic way, having grown up in a township of Gatlehong. All of these elements resonate with me because I have seen, mm. I have watched, mm. you know, I have been a part of it. And so if this were a discussion, you have yourself quite a discussion to say, I don't belong there. Why was I there? Mm. I want to get out of this uh, I don't know, concentration camp? Yeah. If you will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely concentration camp. I mean, the fact that we've made a live something out of it, 
the fact that we've managed to find positivity, we've managed to find good out of it. We can applaud. Place. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's a good place. It's just that we, our resilience has been enough to make it work even in, 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 in that environment. Mm. Um, yeah. Who's there upon your T-shirt gift? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was at VET, at VET uh, doing Ilo Kunjas, Ben Kelezara. One of my friends, Uwo Rulani, is a PAC guy. Okay. Um, Talking talk and just talk as politics, politics. Yes. He's like, you know what? I've got a book for you. He brought me this book, a small booklet called Here's a Tree. Yeah. Writing the time. I know. Younger <laughs> 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 I like it. I like it. I was freed. Yeah. Yeah. I was freed. I was freed. Uh, a lot of things that didn't make sense made a lot of sense. If there's one thing, you know, that this man opened up, you know, to you and uh, your journey, what would it be? Would it be his, re his um, courage, his resilience? There must be an element that you, you took from all the reads that you've read about, uh, you know, the great Sobuk. Mm. I think for me, it was his Courage, man, was a very principled person. Yeah. He was a very principled person. I mean, sure, Pan-Africanism uh, opened my eyes to looking at the world in a different way. You also have Abuma Kaskad, you have Nkuma. Um, so it, for me, if, when it comes to Sobuk, I think it was more than just the Pan-Africanism. Mm. But the bravery of the men, um, and the principledness of the man, and the fact this guy was a professor at Vets University in the 40s, 50s. I mean, hmm. um, and yeah, no, um, he was such a threat to the system that even in Robin Island, Baba Makele is still like I want. Yeah. So you wonder, like, what, what was. What, what they feared really so much about this man. Mm. But I think for me, what they feared was he was a principled person. He was a very principled person. Um, I like the fact that even a Chavvi, um, the leader he was. When they were burning uh, the passes, mm -hmm. the dumb passes, uh -huh. yeah. I hear that he was the first person. Say, I'm the leader. I'm the leader of this thing. I'm, like I'm that of, yeah. yeah. If there's going to be consequences, I must be the first person to suffer those consequences. Mm. Um, and the beauty of his ideology, man, um, it's not anti-white, it's pro-human. Yeah. Um, he's not hating, it's, it's like it's love. Like his whole ideology, his whole outlook, and he was prepared to put his life on the line because he just loved humanity so much. Mm. Um, yeah, no. But we can't. Well, yeah. And you wonder what, what, what if, 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 if it lived, uh, what South Africa would look like. Yes, and you, you, you certainly like, wonder, uh, you know, um, Obiko, Osobuko, and mm. Uguti had uh, their lives uh, been spared, you know, to a degree where they could actually give out what was mm. in their heads mm. to, you know, its full potential. Possibly we could have been in a better situation, dare I say, and us. Yeah. Um, because, well, in, I would like to think in. Well, mm. I'm not trying to get into politics because I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a politician. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a black person um, and I identify now with my Um And Bengrang and Uncle Lam, in fact, yesterday, yeah. Bengrang and Babam Nanoa, Miss Scott, was driving through the and then was just having a conversation. And he said something I thought that was quite insightful. He was saying, Look, the problem is as long as we think of our problems as South Africans, what is the problem of Africans in South Africa? 
Yeah. Then we're not even starting to address the problem. Hmm. Because the problem is not a South African black person problem. The problem is an African person problem. Yeah. Um, and if, we know, well, if, if even when we're thinking of the problem, we must think of where the problem comes from. I mean, the problem comes from the Berlin Conference, where they divided Africa amongst themselves and they blundered it. Mm. And now we have to pick up the pieces, like disjointed, you know. And this uh, thing was systematic. Yep. Uh, because it was almost, you know, the map was placed there and it was carved out. But mm. this place, you know, will be divided here to make up this place. Mm. So it was very, it was technical in how they did it. Yeah. If you talk of the Berlin uh, conference, yeah. Mm. And it was so dehumanizing because you are here, I'm here, you are my cousin. You're just on the other side of the when you homestead. Suddenly there is a border between us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you're a relative, yeah. Yes. You are now Zimbabwe and I'm now South Africa. Mm. And trying to find solutions. Guys, what is the solution for Zimbabwe? What is the solution for South? It just seems to me it's never we're never gonna arrive at it. Yeah. Uh, we need to think find a continental solution. Um so I mean that's what Tobuk really helped me to open up my mind and my eyes. Mm. You know, you're not existing in a vacuum. You're existing in a, context, in a continent of black people and when you think liberation, you need to think about the liberation of African people. Here, also in the diaspora. Holistically so. Mm. Holistically so. Mm. Is there anything that you, you've written around politics or whatever? And as, you know, um, stuff was called. Yeah, I don't know if it's politics. Yeah, it's politics. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one is called Words. Words? Yeah. Words do not build, do not break, do not anger, do not love. People love. Words do not betray, do not kill, do not forget. Words cannot betray us or mask us as blank monkeys or hide us from ourselves, and without arms, words do not protect, do not agree, and being just words, they do not shoot. I hate words. They are words of truth. They are not the truth, they are not even lies, they are just words without land. Sechwayo was not a man of words, nor was Makar. In fact, Mushueshwe could not even speak, and yet, it was with words that Azania was married with looters in the community of no properties. And they Quite an impactful piece, you know, that uh, just 
it, it, it touches on sort of every element. Ukalukulume around the royals, you know, makosom shwe shwe ganjal. And then you just line it up somehow towards uh, politics. Mm. How uh, the poem? Um, I don't It makes you angry, doesn't it? It does. I can see the emotion. Yeah, yeah. it does. Mm. It does. Because, uh, and this is just my view. Since Ingham last figure in Africa, South Africa, in particular, sure. from Aumatan, the Costa Kings, Aum Shuesh, Nichoayo, Bomakado, Oinza, Opa. Yes. Mm. All these people have been resisting, have been fighting. Uh, some of them, they were taken, heads were cut off. Decapitated, heads in Scotland. Yeah. Gupi, gupi. Mm. Always, 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 always. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle even coming up. I was so woke. I was Pico, Krizan. It's been a struggle. And then in one moment, someone decides with a... Uh, the struggle is over. We're going to be at peace now with these people. We're going to coexist. It's going to be a rainbow nation. Yes. A rainbow nation. We're not going to have our land back. Uh, it's going to be a gradual thing that maybe we may have our land back in the future. Mm. Uh, we're going to have peace. We're going to be a loving rainbow nation. Uh, and you black people must just get with the problem. Live with it. Mm. 30 years later, we're still landless. Um, we are still victims, we are still second class citizens in our own country. Um, the economy is still in there. Nothing has changed. Uh, so is, 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 the, is the struggle over really? What, what now? Uh, what now? Uh, you get the new generation, you get the generation of, of Ismas Fall uh, saying we want to colonize education, we want free education. These are small yeah, remnants of a bigger problem. Um, our struggle was betrayed, I think, my view. Mm. Our struggle was betrayed. Um, we were, and it was not, that betrayal is not just a betrayal of us living now, it was a betrayal of all these kings and kings who were fighting, all these warriors who were fighting. Mm. The MK guys, the Abra guys. Right. Mm. Because we've been struggling, <clears throat> uh, Gift, but uh, you know, our struggle almost feels like it's in vain. Because we tata from, you know, the, the royals back then, they've been fighting mm. and resisting against this mm. takeover, mm. so to speak. And here we are today, and we're still fighting, and we're still struggling. Mm. So in between, um, there are those who sell us out, in a sense, mm. uh, because of maybe a brown envelope, yeah. uh, a promise, mm. uh, you know, uh, personally to that individual to say, ah, don't no, worry. Your family will be fine. Mm. Let's push this agenda. Mm. Let's push that agenda. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that's where we are. Um, but I mean, all is not lost. Yeah, um, all is not lost for Africans. I don't think all is lost uh, because um, politicians are politicians. Some are leaders, quote unquote. Right. But there are leaders in society. Um, there will be a generation that will rise um, and they will say it stops here, it ends with us. Yeah. Uh, we are taking it back to historically what we know what our struggle is. Mm. Our struggle, we know exactly what it is and we are going to continue with that struggle. Um, our struggle is not for the rainbow nation. Mm. Um, there will be a generation, so all is not lost. But for now, and Yasinda sometimes. Yeah. And it's sha song. No one is immune. No. Whether yeah. you're a black a Kasi, you feel it most acutely. You're a black professional in a big accounting firm in Sentin. Mm. You're still a second class. You're still black. Mm. You still experience racism. You're a doctor. I mean, imagine, like, a, a professional person, you're a medical doctor, but in that circle, you're just a black. Who I'm happened to learn about brain surgery yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You're still black. Mm. Mm. And I'm sure for me, that's even more 
can imagine it's even more painful to be treated in that way when you have done so much mm -hmm. um, and you've accomplished so much. Probably more acutely felt than even say, look, she, I mean, what, what, what I, really, I really don't have exposure to whiteness. Mm -hmm. I live systematically the product of white oppression, but I don't have that proximity of racism yeah. uh, that you'd get in a professional setting, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. And of course, just talking about professional settings, you went and you studied. Uh, you're a lawyer now. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> um, and of course, you come into you know, an education system that really you know, is specific about what you learn. And when you come out of there, this is what you will do. Mm. Were you deliberate about going to study law uh, and if so, how deliberate were you about it? Because uh, somehow I get the sense you went to study law so that there are certain things you'd like to quote unquote fix. Mm. Yeah, it was a very ideal, idealistic endeavor. Because I first did a commerce degree. Um, I worked at a bank for six months, all of six months. But did you knew? Uh, yeah. All of six months, I didn't fit in. Mm. I didn't fit in a bank. Benchanga, my Benchanga, Afro, Kogama Pootsi. They kept on telling me, you can't, you need to look better, you need to, your demeanor needs There's to. There's a corporate dress code. Mm. And the way you speak, man, your English, you need to. <laughs> So that the that, 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 young 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 careful I very little good at it very bit later. I couldn't cut it. So I was like, okay, what next now? Maybe let me go study some more. Right. And then obviously through my advices. And there was someone who gave me good advice, but you know what? If you still want to understand society and you still want to get a just a general your phone, because you can either go and study engineering a technical degree. Yeah. But it seems to me what you are more interested in is like understanding society and yeah. that you are a writer. So go study law. Um, I did that. Um, very idealistic when you go into law school. And they teach you these things so you can change society, justice, all of those things. Mm. All of that stuff. It was nice. Um, but the reality is, it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. Uh, finally, I said, then you cause it your students. Umuyumatala. Four oh, years, you've been studying with, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to change society. No matter you have figured the six months course, he comes in and he completely destroys all of that thing. Uh, he says mm -hmm. law, if you look at it, it's a tool to, it's a tool to regulate human conduct, right? I see. Mm -hmm. So it can be used for good, it can be used for bad. Uh, in a system, a capitalist system such as ours, law just reinforces, you know, good. But you personally can still use it for good. So it becomes a gatekeeper to a mm. certain degree. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's what he, he said. So it was quite an eye opener, like a vision. Yeah, it was a kind of eye opener to yeah. think about it. And then you actually see it um, unfold. And you say, I mean, the law is supposed to be justice, everyone is supposed to be equal. But in a capitalist system, doesn't it just reinforce the, 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 the system mm. as mm. it is? Because yeah. in essence, it's, it's Roman Dutch law. Yes. Uh, as, a, as a law student, Uchabula from a Roman Dutch law. Yes. Where uh, is uh, the law? Yetu, uh, Yabantu, Bagwantu. And what you go and practice, you know, you're working around that. So th therein lies this divide. Umumdomyamawe. Yes. That's why I love these kids. Uh, Love a rose must fall, love a fist must fall. Yes. Ah, man, those kids have that, that such foresight, and their struggle was so legitimate. Yeah. Not only they were very clear, but we were fighting for free education. We were fighting for free decolonized education. Hmm. We're not fighting to learn this. We're saying infuse us into the, in, into the system. We have our own set of values permeating through the education. And set of rules mm. that we can live by. Because we you do know? have it. We do have it. Um, 
It's not good you are going to go to a cell somewhere that also valera in the school. It's called the slash where the elders gather. Mm. Mm. Uh, Paul, John Jingo, mm. Kaukaza Fundi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes the penalty is not, it's not the penalty that is retributive. The penalty is a shaul. Yes. We still acknowledge good ones. We acknowledge good ones. And then it's gone, it's past. You can still, ooh, you are still part of the society, you are still integrated. Um, as opposed to a system which incarcerates you and puts you in, in a cell for 10 years and you come back and you are casted out of, 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 of the society. So I really, really like what those kids are fighting for. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, coming out of that, I mean, it's been wonderful, you know. Uh, collectives like Ipupol Gabiko, which is a band, yeah. you know, come out of that, you mm. know. And, uh, you know, now they hop on stages and further, you know, amplify that message. Yes. And all this has you know, young and the beginning of the around the feast must fall. It's a beautiful thing to see. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah, I poop. I mean, that's my favorite band. I know I'm saying that. I know I'm saying that. I know I'm saying Yes. Yeah, no, that's my favorite band. But uh, because it's, I think you go there to their show. It's more than just the music. Mm. It, there, there's a message. Mm. There's an underlying message mm. which is, which is not really tucked in or, or hidden. Mm. It's deliberate. Yes. It's there. Yes. Ubanai message. Yeah. Yes. No, they are very brave band, and they are very important band for, 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 for South African young people. Mm. Because they are very contagious band. When you are there, it's like you are a pilgrimage. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course, and I um, remember seeing you guys um, at the National Arts Festival. Uh, Gramstown, uh, uh, Makanda, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, it was so lovely to see you, you know, with them, where, you know, they did their own performances, but then they backed you up, you know, yeah, as a yeah. poet yeah. on stage. I, yeah. I remember coming to see your show, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, you had that musical element as yeah. well, and, and, yeah. and, and harmonies coming through from the background, from Ipupol Gabiko, beautiful. Yeah. No, no, no. Those, those, those guys are very. Um, those guys are amazing. Um, it's nice to collaborate with them. It's also nice to do poetry with music. It's, um, mm. it's not. Yeah, you know, to all those experiment because, like, you, there, there's, there's another element that you also learn as a, as, as a writer that sometimes you can you, you write from the soul. Yeah. You know? um, it's not always an intellectual endeavor where it's just thoughts and thoughts and yes. thoughts. Sometimes it's really just the feeling. And sometimes the music can bring out the feeling of writing. So, yeah. um, it's a beautiful thing that uh, you know you do with the Pupul Gabiko. Mm -hmm. And coming out of that piece uh, that uh, you know you just uh, delivered for us, it comes out of uh, your body of work concerning blacks. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'll share it um, around that. I, I, love, uh, I love the merchandise, in fact, around oh, that. Yeah. You know, the sweaters, <laughs> the t-shirts concerning blacks. And I think there's a picture of Jan van Riebeck. Oh, who is that? Uh, so that guy is, I thought it was Jan van Riebeck. Uslovo <laughs> is the one who designed this thing for me. Uslovo is a graphic designer. Yeah. Uh, he's the one who designed the album cover for me. And I, when he showed it to me, I was like, hey, Jan van Riebeck, interesting, concerning blacks, what are you doing? Yes. Uh, he's like, no, this is not Jan van Riebeck. But, mm. but that's the guy who's on the coin in Malala, South Africa. Right. Uh, Bambiza Banye. Like, I don't I forget his name. Oh, okay. His name, yeah. Okay. So, Ugu coin. He <laughs> 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 was saying uh, that's the beginning of the problems. Now, yeah, that was an interpretation of it anyway. Mm. Which, uh, capitalism and Nabilum, that's the beginning of 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 of, of uh, I see. And how he, I gave him the work. And that was his interpretation of the way. It's quite thought provoking. I mean, when you see that, you know, you see Dutch men in the center, you mm. know, of the picture, and and then around it, you know, there are these words concerning blacks. Mm. So, what is this all about? Yeah. No, it's not with something else. I also still, I'm still asking myself questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the artistic guy who did that. Uh, mm. And he interpreted to, to, to me. I liked it. I didn't understand it. But I was like, this is art. Mm. And then in that, as, um, as a body of work, an EP, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, it's an eight-track. Eight-track, yeah. 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 So it's just between an EP and an album, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, what went into it? So, in Spanish, no. 
So I in Spanish there were guys, some friends of mine. You know, out in Siki, in Siki from Mpande Co. Also mm. for Oslo. I remember Mpande Co. Mm. There is a friend of mine, Umtuduzi. He's a bass guitarist from Tuduza. Um, there was Kumbuzo. Kumbuzo is a drummer from Tuduza. Chief Chief Soko, is on the piano. Yeah. Um, and then from Ipupo, Koketso mm. Um Vocalist. Yes. I cook it, I cook it. No, it's in my land. I know. But <laughs> yeah. they call it the pool. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so, so, okay, okay. Uh, and then they've no sieve, no sieve and together. It's mm. also a beautiful, beautiful vocalist. Right. Um, so, it started, it didn't even start as a project. We started just performing. Um, the genesis of it was actually with Untanta from Pupol Gabiko. Untlantla, who's the founder of um, Gabiko, yeah. the group People Gabiko and is the basis. Yes. Then. Okay. He was the genesis of it. Utkot man, try this. Try your poetry with the bass and the flute. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. And we did it, we did it, we did it. It grew as a sound, it grew as a sound. So we're like, okay, maybe we should record the, 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 the stuff. Mm. It took about three years, us just performing, working on it, coming up with different ways of doing it. Uh, and then it just grew, and then I started bringing that much that I've just mentioned into it, and then we recorded the EP. Uh, I think was quite genial because when we when we did the actual recording, he was away he was performing in Cape Town, <laughs> so he wasn't part of it in the studio. Why not him for the last part? Ah, yeah, he still gives me grief about this. <laughs> it was a timing thing, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, it's my sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but we still perform it because I'm a cheater. I have counted there. Now in Dubai, mm. uh, they are playing there, so. Most of the time, okay, okay. Because he's still around, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, what, how many years ago uh, did you put out the album? Was it 2020, 2021? It was 2021. 2021, last year. Yeah, yes. 6th April. Yeah. Um, and 6th April was deliberate because that's the date mm. on which the Jan van der Beek set, set their shows. In ah, so it was deliberate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that was the date that was released. It was also the date that the PAC was found. Not a PAC guy, mm. but I'm a Pan Africanist. Sure. Um, it was a date that the PC was was founded as well, mm. uh, or the military wing of it. Um, so yeah, also qu quite quite systematic in the way. Would he, you know, why keep her on what day, Ganja? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, profound, um, profound. Yeah. So and for me, that yeah, that's yeah, that's concerning. Um, it's of course uh, on all. Uh, music platforms and uh, people can uh, get it. Concerning Blacks, Makafula Vilagazi, search and you'll be able uh, you know, to pick up that body of work. It, it, it's very thought provoking. Um, it may even agitate, <laughs> right? Not agitate, it's Yeah, it's great. I love the way the guys did it musically. Uh, yeah, I um, mean, I, I mean, it blended in so lovely, you know, with uh, you know, with what you offer as a poet yeah. and the music, yeah, yeah. Um, just sort of engulfed you, you know. Mm. It's almost like how yeah, yeah, yeah. Muslim. Mm. Um, so yeah, big up to Amachi dancers. A big up to the guy who produced it as well. Uh, side effect, the gift. Um, right. The gift side effect was Ezola, the producer from Ezola. He's the one who did the whole production. Uh, shame the poor guy, because we recorded it three times. Okay. First time we did it, I was not happy. Second time we did it, he was not happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Both ends were not happy. And the third time was, yeah, the, was, the, the, was the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That, that was the time. So he was, and we also brought in whatever in Tumza, from mm. GP Gangster. We did a song also. Now, like, Wonderful. Him, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, it's all about poetry, you know. Stand up, talk like a cool in Germany now. My name is my paper, <laughs> what else have you got? <laughs> um, this one is called Kuled. Um, in fact, no. Let's put this one. This one is called Statueless Bov. Again, Statueless Bov. It's Polish on the cast, the clock. Umkalo Amumyama. Can you swing a cancel? In Kuboyam, Yakuan Oboya Benyat, in a commish, 
Enkuza ngai mi khoto ya zenzo zobunzi la psu. Owechu. Owangbele te makazi. Untombi zotiti. Elok pange la usintia. Ufele loli. Ea kimishu anifiga makazi angezali. Ufele loli. Ea kimishu anilale jewe logi. Shikezu buso ngonye mbezil ganini. Ikuichi. Lentamu. Lomtarian, nyalbon es chombe ni somlil. Sbindu abulal, sbindu apilis. Sbindu ambulal, sbindu ambulal o mamongzala, sbindu nekas. Satlo sames bov, umchabus pegi les chota mo polis. Yungu boyam, yo boyam enyati makas, ino gogo. No me chulo go en suela, usted se sacó de chinali, un culo gotu, usted se son crownas colonia, un guebe, un socio, un paro preque en la muerte, nari, un majara sasa, un bugue, un papé que que el un suelo, un caslón culo gotu, usted se son crownas colonia, un guebe, un tagui, chat, un socio, un peñe, pepe, un gomu, un casi, casi, left, right, and correctional center, un nacivi, mi nang na matzal, un chose, un bula, un mete, un me, na, un funa, un chua, un chanre, un bon, un vipat, Nim zume ba gusbu ge reportin, nim siga zenge te nim taga, nim kumla maketa nim pep na makacha tibe ngagim, nim phones and kete zemali ami, enjele nim shien mune makule na vugela azusi zlokpele zelabantu na balambi lespole. Anko se gumbula la, angmas gumfazo katu memezelani, wenzu saspali, wenza nevali kete lomuntu, utu buluka saspali, unkomba ngapante senga parat, wenkaji saspali, aga presse saspali, letim guma bobe benya saspali, nim police kopo, nim totsele mkwa koini, nim kutu lecha tini, nsulo kopo bake fastere ni eslambu, shayle toga kulo, wena best driver, so celebrate in dondem tag, ma pachis no bombi no kel kolite, utu ala makabe tu zalgaz ni mpupu no oela, sla lobu, te scott ranking azo pepel. Wa pete ama kache tangi tisbali si pe sports bag so nazi chuela tisbali kocha ngoka tisbali ufanya nje sote mchele ni tumzom chondo efanya statu nafu mfungu nzo mwa kwa kena la iku lefti la chai salo mtu pita la stop sign kena kwa kambi tisbali umvuli window mtu sala be siri ni nyumba wa be nyati esamu tumbasi yao salama kishiri tu apola ngemo fochaji skafela ba poisa sfasi kwa sote ndege ishi na benge nje nje chaga koko amu pe fumla ngemo sala pe menti ni ndenga ni angkuli samina angboshwa angefi angsal tisbali pini Ni kijana ni kofeni kwa vishi sangu tiki kama ngeso kujenga ngeso kuna lengo sasa fanga sasa kasi zulu impilo sio ifungo na mashesha so impilo kwa skasha na mina na westine ichelena baada tu nabo fasui le matala so chenga njia bulonge kani so chaka mungu tu vuna stumbe putin abe chapa ntana bora sala ngi chini jomblo mu so vile ma pepe chuo ni matelezo na gamta lispecha matcha baza stuche fuck up ogeni sisi sio njala sisi ogeni sisi sio njala yomo ya orongo sio chuo right islam bile matala iskatulo sana mespovu triga triga fanda kifu Fe fa makenge, mwa wamu zulu nonya, long nose silver revolver chulu zame chula gamnad. Liti ken, ken, liti ken, ken. Yo, a scenario. Yeah, I let us put my. Yeah. As basi maraundi. Yeah. As yo zama ma ba shabat ba yo keres. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it becomes a it becomes a a tough life to do because ukpuma gya pumega, but then the leaves questions what gya buwa na but mat popi we buwa we buwa len kamka. Hey, yeah, um, I love chippy gangster. Yeah, I love chippy gangster. We have in tubes there's got a song called. Uh, Black, black men, yeah, black men, you're on your, you're on your own, you're on your own. Yeah. Speaks about. It's kind of a Robin Hood uh, view of Amachi, Amachi Tapada. Yeah. It, I mean, these things are stolen from us, we can steal them back. Hmm. Um, it's not a view that I necessarily prescribe by. Yeah, yeah. Because the consequences are dire. Oh, very, um, very. And we've seen them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The consequences are dire. There's nothing said then. Seeing a young black man dying over something that we were in 2000 rand. Oh, a flat screen TV. Yeah. Uh, or going to spend the rest of his life in prison for something in general, for a small, really, really minuscule thing. Uh, families are broken. Mother loses a child. Yeah. Sisters lose a brother. Yeah, it's just them. 
yeah, it's a certain situation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's yeah, that's what inspired the poet, the piece. Where to from here, in as far as poetry is concerned? I, I get the feeling you're in this now as a poet. You put pen to paper. You're always looking around you for scenarios that may inspire you or make you sad even. Mm. And you'd like to amplify what you see, what you hear, what your thoughts are around various scenarios that you are seeing in general society. I get the feeling that the craft somehow has taken a dip and, uh, you know, we no longer are interested in hearing the spoken word, which is so powerful and has been over centuries. Beskul Mangabo, Shakespeare back in the day, you know, th those are the people who help to amplify certain things. Mm. You know, we are seeing, uh, you know, kings and queens uh, uh, being put onto positions. In your hey. hey. So it is, a, it is part and parcel mm. of who we are, yes. you know, anyway, as black people. Mm. Um, never mind all Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. What is your outlook as you look at uh, poetry as a craft, as an art, moving forward? Uh, yo. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough one. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. Because, uh, when I listen to these kids uh, who are writing now, <clears throat> I won't call them kids, but it's just generational. I'm mean, going to generation Abu Mac, Abu Afura. Yes. Una generation man, Abu Sabelo Soko. Una Abu Modi Sese Koto. Una Abu Sovi La Des. Dope, 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 dope poets yes. out there. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful poets. Poets who actually have mastered the art of writing and performance. Mm. Um, and they use multimedia. They use all sorts of crazy things to amplify. Visually, it becomes yeah. beautiful when no, you see them yeah. perform. No, yeah. no, no. It's, 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 it's amazing. Yet, when you go to these sessions, you wonder, why are there 30 people here? Why are there like only 50 people? Such a beautiful thing. Hmm. When we used to go to Sons of Entertainment in the early 2000s, hundreds of us. <laughs> yeah. And just to, to, to watch someone reading on a piece of paper. Mm. So clearly something is off. So there's, there seems to be a disconnect between the audience and the poet. I don't know what has happened. Yeah. I don't really know. But there is some sort of a slam. Yeah, yeah. I would say so. Mm. I would say so. Um, and also, I mean, look, if you're a writer, the only thing you, that is expected of you is to write, right? Uh, you should not be expected to expose a certain agenda or to do something other than just writing. Um, that's what you do. Uh, yet also, but in writing, there's also like an activism about it, because Abos Rishfukush, the organizers, they're not just writers, they're not just poets, but they're organizers, so they were really conscientizing us also as part of those sessions because like being in our isn't as it's not, you know? Yeah. Like there would, there would be poetry and then there would be raga music, there'd be like books. Open mind. Yeah, there's mm. books on Makaskavi there, you can read if you want, all of these things. Uh, I think maybe that part is that, that that element is now no longer there. Uh, it's really becoming about like slamming and, and being dope. Um, and of that. How um, many followers you have yes. uh, on your social media yeah, networks and things yeah, of such yeah. nature? Uh, yeah. How to like mm. Mm. and competitive also like this set was really amazing. We really loved your set. That set was better than this set and all of the things, which is all good because yeah. it makes it more. Um, it makes it more. I mean, you drive to 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 to, to, to be, be better. better. Mm. Mm. But at what cost? Mm. Um, at what cost? Because the craft itself suffers. Mm. You know? Because a successful poem is a poem that someone could have written in their bathroom when they were feeling sad and they came up with this thing and they read it and it's so personal. Mm. And you relate with it without the charm. Yes, of course. Um, so, yeah, uh, at the end, though, I mean, not to see if I get inside there, 
Um, no, Makafula, I think as we wrap it up, you know, thank you for mm -hmm. honoring the invitation. I think uh, more than anything, the episode was just to <clears throat> highlight to those viewing that um, this is an art form mm -hmm. called poetry, and um, it is still out there. Yeah. It's not, uh, you know, in the background or in the corners or in a passage. Yes. Spoken word has been and will always be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this wonderful <clears throat> craft that uh, amplifies generally what society is feeling, how society moves in motion through struggles, you mm -hmm. know, through their joys and things of such nature. And I think you're one of the people, you know, who has uh, come through, made your poetry sort of your own, and your voice resonates um, like none I've heard before in, in, in the style you know, you confront it, and in what you open up to us as the audience uh, who are listening. So I just like to say, um, no, thank you. Yeah, keep no. moving. Yeah, no. you, you know, in this, and it's up to you now to be able to, you know, bring in that new generation. Yes. You know, and lead them in light. You know, through word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely. I mean, this is something we're going to do. We must continue to do it. Uh, well, thank you so much for, 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 for one hosting me and also just I think I speak I speak on behalf of a lot a lot of writers yeah. I say sure. <laughs> a lot of poets when I say you've really always been uh, on our corner. Uh, you've really over the years man uh, there was a point where maybe I can even attribute you are party to blame for the slump. Uh, because you disappeared with us. Eh? Oh, when I, came <laughs> off, when I came off the radio and I was nowhere to be found. <laughs> hey, Makapu. Okay, so part of the play is... No, I'll take it. Nyakolis, ask him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah, yeah. but thank you so, so much. Well, you've really, really, really inspired a lot, a lot of writers. Some of us really, really, really felt inspired by just the platform that you gave us. Um, and you continue to give us and um accent and man mm. because it's these things that like what is the craft that you know you're not doing this craft because you're gonna be a millionaire and you're not doing this craft because you're gonna be famous or you're gonna make money it's tough craft you actually create more barriers for your life in, in the fact that you have to confront truth and all of these things mm. and some people don't really want to hear hear that mm. but there are people about Jenga who those are the people that keep the poets saying it's okay. I can I can still continue doing this. There is still an audience for this, there's still a platform for this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm I'm really grateful for it. No, we give thanks. thanks. Yeah. 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 And they don't disappear on us again. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you I will not. <laughs> These are the spaces or house of Sankofa, you know, where I'll be yeah. and uh, really this will keep uh, resonating because all of these elements around the house of Sankofa are elements which are close to my heart and poetry, mm. I think, being one of them, you know, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, definitely. As if, like, anything that comes to mind. Um, okay. Um, Ulele, ikoli ni abanda. Ulele mu Afrika. Upupi nyoni zezulu. Na namsha anje sa zunga sa pesbe kasi ligataki. Upupa gamna. Upupa skanga sa mafla nuga gamna. Upa mateis. Upa ma sweet pumpkins. Tawe gamna do mafrik. Tawe vanged. Tawe nchal. Tawe sembe swasa nelsi na washa na baka basi di chula ba kuto la makula na majuta ngesend. Tawe ntamba zonongroi. Westrap. Umbi zangemfenezo nlaaki. Umafrik. 
Pepmula ke permission ga open time. Am pet sama kakas bela. Kam kalla no uti mela pepmula ga inga kinge or. Tago inga ti zaman gisi na machut. Tago Shakespeare. Tago Karl Marx. Aga fundi lo ma Afrika. Utari utago esingi su pupa na ngaso. O ma Afrika. Onje bes kani kase lo Afrika. Bam fundi tande ndeze. Usebe zaga iteti. Ukola ga one. Uvuga ga iteti. Ula la ga one. Naga nyate lake. Kama ga kali ashega. Uchani bes ndeze lo bem kitaza. Uti pele gamna. Ndi ma Afrika muche. Upupa gamna. Ndi. Upus kase na framuna gamna. Ndi. Pupa matei. Aho no mafrik, ambulé lu sanka. Aho no mafrik, ambulé lu samor. Aho no mafrik, ambulé lu pik. Tu sabes, tu as fait ça. 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 Tu as Azana wabula luka tafu. Choslovo. Kawa South Africa. Azana wateni suzu la mafrika kriptan. Acha haiba South Africa. Azana wiyash. Ulele. Ulele pezgue kazi la makawe na makwa la mnya. Ulele ma. Koni gaba. House of Sankofa, Makafula Vularaz, Vuga, Africa. Siakamakush, Kus.